You can do it. I believe in you. There's one thing that I know is that we can accomplish anything in life. Seeing all of these stories up here, it's exciting to see the people that are up here right now. But it's not about what's happening right now, it's about what we're going to do in the future. The most exciting part about this is knowing that you guys have the same shot, the same opportunity. I know that so many of you guys are going to be up here with those million dollar, five hundred thousand dollar pendants. I tell you, it makes you feel good. How many of you guys are interested in finding out a little bit into the backstory, a little bit of the, the mindset? The one key thing, in my opinion, that every single one of these Vi millionaires have created in themselves and have found in themselves, which has enabled them to be able to get where they're at right now. If I could share that one thing with you. One thing. How many things? One thing. That has given each and every one of these guys the power to be able to accomplish what they've accomplished. Would you guys be up for hearing that? Are you sure? Imagine if you couldn't lose, would you play the game? I'm going to teach you the one thing that, that, the one consistency, the one what? The one consistency that me personally that I've seen amongst all of these individuals. And I'm going to share that one secret with you. You ready for the secret? Say, Jay, give me the secret. The one secret that all successful individuals possess. The one secret that all millionaires possess is that they all write their own story. Every single one of these individuals, they write their own story. They write their own, we call it a ticket sometimes. How many of you guys want a, a ticket to be a millionaire? Right? That comes down to writing your own story. Stories are a powerful thing. In my opinion, they are everything. And what successful individuals do is they write their story over and over and over and over again. If they accomplish something, they write a new story. If they fail at something, they write a new what? They write a new story. And they continue to reinvent themselves. They continue to re-energize themselves. And they use that fuel and they use that passion to be able to take, to be able to take whatever it is that they want in life. Stories are a funny thing. In my opinion, and whose opinion? These are just my opinions. They're not factual. They're not written down in print. These are just my experiences from what, have I, what I've saw in life. And in my opinion, the one power, the one what? Power. The one power that each and every one of us has is the ability to write and craft our own story. And a story is essentially anything that we want it to be. If we decided that we were going to be able to accomplish something in life, some of us would create a supporting story to help us get there. While others may create a story as to why it can't be done. Anyone heard of the four minute mile? There was story after story after story dictating why it couldn't be accomplished. Medical facts studying the human physiology as to why it couldn't be done. However, as soon as that one individual, Mr. Bannister, went off and hit that and got it done. He did it how many times? One time. And from that point forward, there was a new story about the four minute mile, wasn't there? Once one person did it, once one person accomplished it, every other individual, they shifted the one thing in their mind that really mattered. And that one thing that they had to shift was the belief that it could be accomplished. It's all a story. You can either sell yourself that you can or sell yourself that you can't. Henry Ford said it best, either way you're what? Either way you're what? Either way you're right. Every single story that we have is always selling something. Every scenario you're in, every situation you're in, 
you're always selling something. And you're always selling something in the fashion as to whether or not you can accomplish something or whether or not you can accomplish something. Or can, or can, sorry. And if you decide that you can't do it, from time to time, I know from my experience, I used to find justifications as to why I couldn't do it. Just like the individuals who tried to accomplish the four minute mile. Before they ran the four minute mile, what did they have in their heads? Was it an empowering story or a disempowering story? It was very disempowering. Us coming to events. How many of you guys believe in your inner core that you can hit ambassador? Do you think that seeing the ambassador stories up here was an empowering story or a disempowering story? Empowering or disempowering? Empowering. See, sometimes the stories, they don't even have to be your own story. They can be somebody else's. But with every reference, every single reference that you get, it helps support a belief. What does it help support?